Well, Fox 10 News investigates found this is the fifth crash in two years for the tour bus company. Investigative reporter Katie Weiss in the newsroom with what she found out. Well, Bob Lanise, this is also the second fatal accident for the company in less than a year, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. Last May, a first-class tours bus reportedly struck a woman crossing the street in downtown Houston. Authorities said the bus driver failed to yield the right-of-way, killing 73-year-old Maria Zemaripa. Today, first-class tours bus driver Harry Caligon was killed when his bus, carrying dozens of high school students from Texas, plunged off a bridge on the I-10 westbound in Baldwin County. The Department of Transportation says it's inspected the company's vehicles 247 times in the last two years. Of those inspections, only four vehicles were required to be taken out of service. Also, the DOT inspected the company's drivers 127 times in the last two years, and no drivers were required to be taken out of service. So we wanted to know what kinds of regulations are in place for drivers. The DOT requires charter bus drivers to be drug tested randomly throughout the year. Drivers are also not allowed to drive for more than 10 consecutive hours at a time. It is about a seven hour drive from Disney World in Orlando to the location of this morning's crash. I asked the company if it requires its drivers to receive yearly medical checkups, but I haven't heard back. However, the First Class Tours website says its buses are equipped with onboard technology to monitor driver behavior and that its drivers take, quote, proactive continuing education classes. The DOT says the company received a satisfactory rating after a 2015 audit, which is the highest rating the company could receive. Now, DOT stats also show there have been 130 fatal crashes in the U.S. involving charter tour buses since 2012. The last time a fatal tour bus crash happened in Alabama was back in 2013 when a charter bus crashed with a pickup truck on Perdido Beach Boulevard in Orange Beach, killing a 30-year-old man. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Katie Weiss, Fox 10 News.